edit a start now. The tactile display enables human operator more intuitive and delicate maneuvers with visual information. Currently, there does not exist a quantitative method to verify whether the exact tactile information is displayed. We develop a tactile display that makes robot handling easier during remote control and propose a method to verify quantitatively the display tactile information. Two types of tactile information are important when human grab objects. The first is the shear force that occurs between the human skin and the object. The second is slip caused by shear force. In this study, stick ratio is used to evaluate slipperiness. Stick ratio is an indicator before a macro slip occurs. By sensing the stick ratio, grip control achieves so that the hand holds the object without macro slip. This study assumes a robot hand with a tactile sensor that can measure the two types of tactile information. We develop a new device to display shear force and stick ratio. The purpose of this study is to improve the stability and accuracy of robot handling by remote control. It is inst installation and development of a tactile display that is useful for the remote operation two types of tactile information to display. The first is shear force. By displaying the shear force, the operator knows the direction and magnitude of the force. The second is stick ratio. By displaying the stick ratio, the operator knows the gripping force of the robot hand is appropriate to hold the object. This slide shows the structure of the tactile sensor used in this study. The tactile sensor consists of a silicon touchpad of 7 mm diameter with black film on the outside surface, a CMOS camera, an LED light that illuminates the interior, and a half mirror. The inside of surface of the touchpad is printed with regularly arranged small dots. When normal force is applied, dots spread radially, as in B. When shear force is applied, dots are pulled to the opposite sides of the shear direction, as in C. Shear force is calculated from the displacements of the printed dots. In this study, the shear force is calculated from the average, average displacements of nine dots in the yellow frame. The relationship between the average displacement of dots and the shear force is shown in this graph. When the touchpad touches an object, the contact area is invited into a stick area and an incipient slip area. The stick ratio is calculated by taking the stick taking the ratio of the contact area and the stick area. The dots in the stick area are moving in a group of nearby dots. Dots outside the stick area do not form a group in a sense of similar displacements. As a result, there is a difference in the displacements between the dots in the stick area and the other dots. Therefore, the two areas can be distinguished by comparing the displacements of dots. Next, this slide shows the structure of the display, tactile display device. The device structure is as shown in the photo. This part has a hollow and the multiple small holes on the display surface. This part is a fixture fitted with four motors to move the, to move the part, and then to display shear force. Compressor and vacuum pump is used the uh, air pressure control. Air control is used to, to display stick ratio. In this page, this slide shows how to display shear force. The display 
equips four motors, as shown in the figure. This part is composed with the cylinder and the sphere. Moving the sphere by using four motors generates shear forces. By controlling four motors' movements, it is possible to display shear force in arbitrary magnitude and direction. This combination, this combination is used when moving the x direction. This combination is used when moving in the y direction. And the xy direction is combined in this way. This is speed. This slide shows how to display stick ratio. There are several small holes on surface. Gives a human finger a sense of slipperiness by jetting or sucking air from the display surface. The friction is decreased by injecting air. The friction is increased by sucking air. In order to verify the arrangement, uh, in order to verify the agreement of sensing and rendering, we have designed a setup with two same tactile sensors. The following in the, is the step of experiment. First, apply a certain normal force to each sensor. Next, apply a shear force to sensor A. At this time, sensor A and the tactile display device are linked. Based on shear force measured by sensor A, the device motor is driven and the shear force is displayed. Finally, the display's shear force is measured by sensor B. The sensor A that senses the shear force, the magnitude and direction, and the sensor B that measures the force displayed by our display. If the two measured shear force are the same, then we can confirm the agreement of sensing and rendering. It is noted that there is not any subjective evaluation in this scheme. This trial show method of stick ratio display experiment. In this experiment, one tactile sensor and a tactile display device are used. First, apply a certain normal force to the tactile sensor and press it against the display surface. Next, air is jetting or sucked from the display surface. At the same time, uh, shear forces are applied from the tactile display device and the stick ratio at, uh, at that time is measured. In this page, this slide shows the experimental result of shear force measurements. The upper graph shows the shear force measured by sensor A. The lower graph shows the shear force generated by the tactile display, which is measured by sensor B. The two corresponding lines are similar. However, the displayed force shows a delay of about 0.5 0 0.5 seconds to the sensing. The delay comes from the slow dynamics of the motors and the transmission delays in the communication devices of sensing and rendering. In terms of displaying shear force, this device can display shear force, but small difference in the magnitude. The slow dynamics of the motors and the transmission delays in the communication devices of sensing and rendering cause the delay for displaying. In terms of the display stick ratio, this device can display stick ratio between 20% and 80%. We observed fails sometimes in displaying stick ratio the reason of the fails is that same of same of the holes are dislocated from the contact area. The circular motion of the display surface caused also the dislocation. This is all my presentation. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much.